What's up, y'all? Hotshot Gamer here, and I am back with our Marley Bones Let's Play, uh, or rather Wizard City Wizard 101 Let's Play. But I'm in Marley Bone World, and this is video, I believe, number eight of our Let's Play. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Sherlock Bones and see what he wants to do about this ongoing O'Leary situation. And I think he's going to send us to Ironworks. I believe. You're here. Now let's get down to business. You alone have the power to uncover the O'Leary True plot. That. You must enter the ironworks and discover their intention. Find Baxter at the ironworks. His inside knowledge may prove valuable. All right, let's do it. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that the ironworks is a dungeon. So we may have to turn this video into a few, or this uh, dungeon, I should say, into a few videos. But yeah, it is a dungeon. So. Yeah, let's get on in it. All right, Baxter, where are you at? No teleporter, huh, Tom? give you what help I can, but you've got to promise to keep my name out of it. Will do. Here's where I Maybe. last saw Pops O'Leary. He went through that door, but you'd need more than O'Leary luck to get through it. You'll need a you key. You sure about that? Say, those O'Leary nappers always go where they shouldn't. You may have to defeat a couple of O'Leary nappers before you find a key, though. So what I'm hearing is I need to make them take a nap. Should be easy enough. And they're fire too, which is super convenient. Honestly, I think fire is probably... Fire or death, I think, are my two favorite schools to fight in Marleybone. Because fire fire in Storm, endgame, or at least current endgame, which is Novus, level 150. Uh, level 160, I'm sorry. Are... are they're, the, they're the hitters. But... <sighs> I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm yawning today. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but like, fire. So, uh, so fire early game or Marleybone, I should say. It isn't that challenging to go against. Um, so I definitely prefer it over storm or even myth in this area. And life is annoying because you know they're about to start using death. They, they use death spells in this area because I don't know why. Ice uses a lot of tower shields here. And Myth, you know, uses storm shields and that's annoying. But balance isn't that bad. I think it depends on the area for balance. I don't know. Sometimes it just varies, but... Oh, that was an easy one. They're gonna be sleeping with the fishes for quite a while. You handled that in nothing flat. Glad I'm okay. on your side. Go on then, open the door. Talk to Baxter. The second door is closed? <laughs> they normally keep that one open. They may know we're coming. Tell you what, Nails O'Leary will have the combination to that lock. He's just around the corner, hiding in the clock tower. Get the combination from him, then meet me back here. You know it'd be great, Baxter, if you could just do me one favor. Just just hear me out. The one favor is give me teleporters. Like it would be so much easier for me to help you out if you help me be able to teleport. That way that was not intentional. I believe the uh where's my map? I believe the, the Ironworks cat is over here. Don't quote me on that. It might be... I'll have to double check. I'm going to double check on the way back. But... 
Oh, uh, so I was thinking it was Tommy Icepick. Pick. You know who you're Originally, that was the really annoying Names one. Don't bend for no one. But you know what? This might actually be the solo boss one because this didn't have a sigil next to it. So this might actually be the solo boss for spell quests. Uh, I think it's level 36 or something spell quest. Which, I mean, for, for all the trouble that it gives you, it's not a good spell quest. Because, like, death, for example. I think death... We got, like, a utility spell out of it. I think it was, like, Dark Pact that we got out of it. So it was something that we didn't necessarily need. It was appreciated, but we didn't need it. And it was just overall annoying to have to go through what we went through for it. I think for life, it's like Guardian Spirit or something. I know my ice did it, but I don't remember what I got on ice. I think it might have been like... The, the ice absorb, whatever it's called. The ice armor. I don't know what it's called. It's been a while since I played on my ice. You know, all these fail pips are really not... I'm not enjoying these fail pips. Oh, and an accuracy debuff. That's great. I should have added my Hammer of Thor in here because I always succeed with Hammer of Thor. Yep. I knew I was going to fizzle that one. Fire Shark. Yeah. Nails is going to be a giant issue. And these fail pips are going to be even more of an issue. Come on, that's four fail pips in a row. That's low-key kind of annoying. Because my power pip chance is like a 30-something, 40-something percent. And there have been battles where I've gotten like six power pips in a row. And I guess this is them compensating for all that by not giving me any power pips when I actually need them. Oh, that's a first. Nails gets hammered. Okay, I'll give to you the combination to get your trues to gate. So it's snake, Looks bird, uh, beetle. Out of here. Snake, bird, beetle. I'm going to go ahead and swap this with the Hammer of Thor. <laughs> Oh no, it's just street sweepers. There's nothing important over here. Let's go ahead and talk to Baxter. Head back over to Baxter, I should say. That, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of upsetting that, um, the the cat isn't over there. So, because the, the cat is the uh, the prospector's request that gives you a training pip. Excellent. Now go open the gate with the combination you got from nails. So I'm not recognized. I have to take the back way, but I'll catch up with you at the factory. Absolutely. But before we do that, let's go ahead and end the episode for here. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys had a great Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, yeah, peace out.